Well, here we are on the day of the big Sideshow exclusive Artisan Edition Anakin Skywalker that is going up for pre-order. And my inbox was flooded with people asking me, just how did it go? Did you get one? Did you snag one? Did you secure the bag? Well, let me just tell you that if I had a dime for everything that went right today, I would have no dimes. So with that being said, Sideshow, I've got something to say. You can see the writing on the pavement. Now, now, I get it. There are some people out here that are saying, you know what? Hate seems like a little bit of a strong word. It's just an action figure after all. And yes, I'm probably a little bit salty, but who wouldn't be? especially when the rules of engagement, the rules of the game change midway through the game. Now, as a Cincinnatian and someone who is a fan of the Bengals, I am no stranger to the fact that the rules are changed mid game to fit the narrative to help the home team. You don't know what I'm talking about? Well, let me rewind the clocks back all the way to the AFC championship game last year. We're gonna see someone help on him right there as well. For 39. Bodies around him. It's what, what Ron just said is we're gonna reset this. We're basically having a do-over here, guys. We're gonna have a third down play do-over. Zach Taylor can't believe it. Well, what do you know? They get a do-over. And it ended up benefiting them in the end. That's right. We Cincinnatians know heartache. You took our gorilla. You took our Super Bowl. You took our AFC championship. But you know what? We get over it. We get through it and we adapt, we overcome, we improvise because that's what we do. But you know what? I can hear them now. I can hear you click clacking on that keyboard, typing out all your criticisms about how I am whiny, how I'm entitled, how I am just making such a big deal about it. I need to grow up. It's just a figure. There's better things in life. But you know what? I am going to let The Rock himself send you a message. So shut up, bitch. <laughs> Well, what do you know? Sideshow went ahead and did a do-over today. But before we understand just how egregious that is, let's go back to the strategy that they put into place for this, all right? And I'm gonna give you props on this. You did it right, Sideshow, when it comes to the announcement. Now, we were all hype about the idea of these new Artisan series figures that were limited and exclusive being available. But we never know when they were going to be available or how they were going to be available until 10 days ago, all right? 10 days ago, as of this recording, today being August the 18th, 2023, 10 days ago, we get an email saying, here is when you can get your Artisan Series Joker, as well as your Anakin Skywalker. Now, I thought the idea of 10 days sounds perfect. It's just far enough away that the people that aren't really serious will forget about it. And it is also just close enough for those that are really excited and serious about it to set a reminder that when the clock strikes nine Pacific time that morning, that we would be ready to go. And this is not without precedence because all the other timed releases before have gone pretty smooth. We were able to do that with the Miles Morales, Bingo, cha-ching, got that one. We were able to do that with the Spider-Man 2.0 advanced suit. Bingo, ka-ching, we got that. Now, there was a lot of people that showed up late and said, I didn't get one. I had to go to the wait list. I can't believe that they sent the email out and I didn't even know. What were they going to do? Well, that weeded out some of the people that were not serious about it because if you really want something, I've said this before, that you make it a concerted effort to put yourself in the best position to get the things that you really want. So, there was no idea that this was not coming. And so when the Joker came, obviously yesterday, nine o'clock, the queue started. And I do prefer the queue as opposed to a lottery. Give the people that really want it a chance. And yesterday came, and what do you know? I actually got one. So I was thinking to myself, hey, this can't be that bad. Besides, this is the Joker, one of the most iconic characters of all time, certainly. This is going to bode well for tomorrow when Anakin goes up for pre-order, right? Ah, absolutely wrong. 
because I went ahead, like everybody else, and pulled up multiple devices, browsers, to give myself the best chance available. But it wasn't just because, hey, the queue was heavy, there was a lot of people. No, it's because they started to change the game well before the fact that it actually went live. Because it was right around 10.50 when I started to notice something interesting actually on the screen. There was something that came up and it said, the line is paused. I said, what? What does this mean? This is about to be a disaster. And what do you know? It sure was. Because there's something else I noticed that I didn't notice until it was too late. So I get the text message and the email that it says, hey, we're gonna go live at 9.15 instead. That came in at 9.01 Pacific time. Then I get a text at 9.13 Pacific time saying, hey, if you wanna join, now is the time to join. But there was something else I was missing. They were once again changing the game. There was now a little box that said, hey, are you in the queue? Because yeah, this is the queue, but if you wanna get in the real queue and you want the Anakin, click this link. What? So now there are more hoops you have to go through? And I guarantee you, there are people watching this right now thinking I'm just some whiny little brat entitled to everything, but here it is. I don't care if they're trying to stop some bots. I don't care if they're trying to make people guarantee that they really do want it, give you the chance to think about whether or not you want this. The fact is, they were changing the rules on the fly. That's the problem that I have. If they would have said, hey, this thing goes live at nine Pacific time, you're going to need to make sure you're RSVP'd, you're going to need to make sure that you click this link once you're in the queue, I would have been fine with it. But it is the changing of the rules that really pisses me off. That's the thing I can't stand and I can't believe. So when I finally realized that, I click it and it says, okay, now you're no longer 600 as you were originally. You're now 5,000 in line. So I had been reshuffled. I had legitimately gotten my ticket at around the 500, 600 mark. And I was really feeling good about getting this piece. But no, we're changing the rules because we do not know what we're doing, Sideshow, and we wanna make sure the site doesn't crash. So let's just make all these extra hoops to jump through and hope that it works out. Well, let me tell you something. It didn't work out for a lot of people because I will give you this. You did keep us updated. Thank you for update one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, letting us know, hey, 30% are sold out, 50% are sold out, 75% are sold out. Hey, and what do you know? Another freaking line pause. Another line pause. To allow themselves to say, oh man, we really effed up on this one. What are we gonna do? Well, what do you know? It comes back live. And they said, oh, it's all sold out. But don't worry, the other 5,000 people in the queue ahead of you Y'all can get on the wait list if you want. If you want, get on the wait list. It's going to work out for you. So I sat there and sat there and waited another 15 minutes only to get the final kick in the balls. This right here. I could have been at a barbecue. But I ain't mad. It's all right. That is all right. That's right, Will. I could have been doing something better with my time. I could have been at a barbecue. I could have been walking the wings. I could have been doing something to benefit myself as opposed to sitting my butt down and getting disappointed because they wanted to change the rules halfway through the game. Now here's the thing, is that I am so happy for those that followed all the rules and got what you wanted, you got the bag. But here's the thing. I know that there are plenty of people out there that don't even want the dang thing. You wanted it because of exclusivity. But now you may be sitting there and saying, hey, 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 hey. 
Aren't you the person who always harps up talking about how you want exclusives and you want things that other people don't have? Well, yes, I am. Because this has proven that there is now something worth hunting. And if there's one thing that we have needed in this community of collectors is a reason to hunt. I'm tired of always seeing all the Captain Rexes in people's collection. Is that your favorite character? Cool, whatever. But we have had, look at all this. Everyone's got the same stuff. So I'm happy that there's something out there that I can now chase. There's something that I can dedicate my time to running down. But here's the thing. It is not my job that I need to worry about waiting out Sideshow. I just need to wait out you. Because you know what? There are plenty of people at the sound of my voice who have this figure coming in a year. And you know what? I smell blood in the water. I know that there are some people that don't want it, some people that can't afford it. There are some people that will cancel that or try to dump it off. And this shark is ready to hunt. So, everybody out there, I will get an Artisan Edition Anakin Skywalker in due time. Are you ready? Because I'm coming for it.